So welcome back to the shop, friends. Before I start getting hate mail, I promise I'm not calling anyone a dummy. But I named today's video French Cleat for Dummies for a reason. You really don't need a lot of special woodworking skills or even carpentry skills to build yourself a really nice French cleat tool wall. Today I'm going to build some holders for some of my tools and I'm going to show you how easy it really is. If you're new here, my name is Jim and I'm the creator of the Lasting Build channel. I'm a hobby woodworker and carpenter. I make weekly videos intended to help you improve your skills and inspire that next project. So on my workbench, I have some of the tools that need some permanent holders on the wall. So what I have here is a piece of three quarter inch plywood that I cut up using my circular saw and then I also have cut up some cleats to attach to it which will ultimately attach it to the wall. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of the tools that I have and arranging them on the piece of plywood and what I'm gonna do is find a nice spot for them here and then actually trace around the tool marking its position. I'm also just gonna mark what tool goes where so don't forget. So I cut up a bunch of blocks on the circular saw and I picked three inches because the uh, jigsaw is approximately three inches in thickness. So I picked three inches as the overall uh, width of the, of the blocks and then they're also in various lengths. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tools and put them back on the, the, uh, the board here that we went ahead and marked out earlier. And I'm just gonna position those blocks in spots where I think it'll hold the tool securely. Right now I'm thinking probably three blocks per tool, but I'll have enough of these blocks left over that I could add a few extras if I need to. Now that I have the blocks positioned where I want them, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark them, mark the position of the blocks, and that'll let me, that'll give me the position where to drill the holes for the screws that'll hold these in place. If you hear a really annoying dripping sound today, it's because it's raining outside and I have a gutter right beside my garage door and that thing is making a ton of noise. Now I can remove the tools and when I take the blocks away, I have a position of the blocks marked I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit more clear where the blocks are so it's easy to find their position. And then I can go ahead and drill some holes. So now you can see it's marked where each block goes. You might also want to go ahead and mark the blocks that way when you're going to put them back on the board you know where they go. I'm going to put two self drilling screws into each block. But I'm going to pre-drill the board that way I can see on the back side where to put the screws. So let me go ahead and repeat that step on the rest of the board and we'll come back and add the blocks to the board. This is certainly an optional step but I just think it would look cool to go ahead and mark out the tools on the board with a marker. That way it would be a little bit easier to, to know where to put them back whenever you're done using them. Really all I'm doing is just remarking the lines that I marked originally with a pencil. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over before we start attaching the, the blocks so I can recess the screws into the board. That way they don't interfere with the cleats on the wall. I just cleaned up a little bit of the wood splintering around the holes. So I put the tool board in my vise just to hold it up so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on each block that I'm going to glue up on the wall. And then I'm using self drilling screws. So I didn't pre-drill the blocks at all. I think it'll be okay without doing that. Let's try and see. This seems to work okay. If you want to pre-drill the holes, that's fine as well. Might make it a little bit easier. So 
So I got all the blocks added to the cleat board. I'm just going to bevel the edges a little bit of the block so I don't end up cutting my hand whenever I'm removing the tools. So all we have left to do is add the tool cleat to the tool holder. I'm ready to give it a try guys. Let's hang it up and see how it looks. So it feels good to get those tools a permanent home on the French cleat tool wall. If you'd like to learn more about French cleats, check out this playlist I made. There's tons of useful information there all about French cleats. I'll see you there.